What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wearing a green shirt and this is actually the only green shirt that I own and it's a Minecraft shirt. So because I'm wearing green, that means today we're going to be working on the green sim for my Rainbow Sims Challenge series. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Also, yes, I'm wearing cat ears because today I realized that cat ears are kind of like my thing. The channel art that I drew for my YouTube channel is me wearing cat ears. My Minecraft character is me wearing cat ears. I have a Sims character of me wearing cat ears. So naturally, I feel like it makes sense to wear cat ears in real life. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. So let's start the video. Okay, so I decided to name the green sim Gabby, and the first thing I did was her face, and I gave her some really pretty green eyes, blush, freckles, and lashes. I feel like I didn't really have that many hairstyles that had a good shade of green, but I ended up just using this long center parted style. Now for her everyday outfit, I found this really cute white sweater that had a green plant on it and I thought this was perfect because plants are green, the sim is green, and I feel like the green sim should like plants. Then for bottoms, I gave her some green jeans and green sneakers. For formal wear, I feel like I've said this in every video so far, but there really aren't that many cute dresses to pick from, so she's wearing this green thing. It's like the least ugly one that I had, and then I also gave her some green heels. I tried to make this outfit look a little bit better by giving her some green accessories like rings and bracelets and necklaces, but I really don't know how much that helped. And then for makeup, I just gave her a smoky green eyeshadow with some lashes. Now her sportswear outfit I actually love, so I gave her some cute green Nike shorts and this adorable striped green t-shirt, like I want this shirt in real life, I don't know why, it reminds me of Brandy Melville and I want it. I was gonna give her a green hat to wear, but it made her hair look a little bit weird, so I just gave her some green sneakers. For sleepwear, I gave her this really cute cropped green sweatshirt, and I was looking through the flannel bottoms, but they just didn't, eh, I just really didn't end up liking them, so temporarily, I gave her some green shorts, which I do change again because I literally can never make up my mind when I'm doing these things, but I gave her some cute green socks and some bunny slippers, and then in the end, I gave her the white version of the shorts that she's wearing for her sportswear. Next is her party look, and this outfit turned out to be like a little bit on the simple side, like it's not too crazy. So I just gave her a really plain green dress and some green sandals. Then for makeup, I kept it pretty simple again and just gave her some green shadow and lashes. Now for swimwear, I had a couple of cute green bathing suit options to pick from, but for some reason I ended up with this like neon green two-piece. Like I think it's really cute, but there was another one in there that I kind of do prefer, so I like might go back and switch it. But for now, she's just wearing this bathing suit with some green flip-flops. Her warm weather outfit is another outfit that I really want in real life. I just love the green tank top, like the full bodysuit piece that I picked out. Then I paired it with these really cute high-waisted ripped jeans. Like these jeans are so adorable. Uh, if anyone knows where to buy pants like this, let me know because I want them. For shoes this time, I gave her some green platform converses and then I just gave her some lashes and a necklace. Last is her cold weather outfit, and I was gonna go all like super wintry and give her like a big puffy jacket and all that stuff, but I found this really cute green Christmas sweater that I just thought was perfect. So I paired the green sweater with some black leggings, then I gave her some green boots, a hat, and some green gloves.
Now this time for the house, I did something different than the previous three houses and I actually took the house and I like separated it into two sections and I don't know why I did this but in the end I feel like it looks really good. So if you guys were wondering, the smaller section of the house is 4x6 and the larger section is 4x10. As you guys can see, this house is one floor just like the previous yellow one and I kind of like how this just kind of happened. So the first two houses that I built are both two floored homes and the last two that I've done are both one floor homes. So I think I'm going to keep this pattern up and the next two houses that I build are going to have two floors and the last two that I build are going to have one floor. Okay, so as you guys just saw, I gave the house green siding, a green roof, I placed a ton of windows everywhere and now we're working on the living room. So we have a TV on the wall with this cute piece of furniture below it. Of course, we have the gray and white carpet and the fuzzy carpet. I literally have put this in every house so far because it is my favorite carpet. And originally, I had that one green sofa, but I decided to get rid of it and just do two green chairs instead. I actually found some pretty cute items to decorate this space with, like an Xbox, an Xbox controller, a lot of cute plants, and I also have a Minecraft game for the Xbox. Then I decided to change the color of the wall behind the TV to like a deep green brick. That way it's kind of like an accent wall and it breaks up the colors a little bit. The next space I worked on was the kitchen and of course I picked out these really cute pastel green cabinets with white counters. At the end I added one of those cabinets that had space for a refrigerator and then I changed the backsplash on the wall from green to a white brick. Then I added some white bar stools, a stove, a dishwasher, a sink, and some small decorations. Next is the bathroom, and this space is pretty simple, just like all the previous builds. I just added a shower, a sink, and a toilet. Honestly, green isn't one of my favorite colors, but I really love how this room came together. I added this black bed, which later on I do change to a tan wood color, but then I added this really cute plant duvet cover with some white pillows, some green nightstands, an alarm clock, and a lamp. I also added some plant artwork above the bed, a green lit mirror on the wall across from the bed, and a pretty palm plant in the corner of the room. Now in the front yard of this house, I decided that I wanted a hot tub, but I didn't want it to stick up, so I built a foundation around it so that it looks like the hot tub is in the ground. Then I made an area for seating, I added a ton of cute plants, I added some string lights above the deck just like in the previous yellow house, and that's pretty much it. I think this is one of my favorite houses that I've done so far. If you guys agree, then let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!